speaking of game consoles, we forgot to touch upon a couple of CES topics. <laughs> you look at me like you want to fucking strangle me right now. Uh, so hands on with the Atari VCS, a strange streaming slice of nostalgia. This comes from PC Mag. I have not read an article well, in a long time that really like goes out of its way to bite its tongue. <laughs> By Will Greenwald. The Atari VCS won't be competing with the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X, but it's an interesting new console nonetheless. We took a close look at it at CES. <laughs> so, the VCS, Atari folks, the past couple years, uh, our, our other uh, Kieran McCarthy, our, our author article, uh, he would go, should go to the like a, a hotel suite. Atari would be set up at some... <laughs> Hotel suite, I guess, away from CES to show off the console. Mm -hmm. um, so they reported here that uh, here that um, it, it's just a surprising article because even when just looking at the pictures, you realize something strange is, is amiss here. So they showed the two different. What is this fucking build your own Atari? <laughs> It's like build a bear, but it's for an Atari. So yeah, the, you want so, the green stripe or the yellow stripe? So the first picture you see, you see the I guess the the black Vader version of it. Only five hundred and sixty two dollars with controllers. <laughs> the 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 Onyx version sandbox I mode. It's for, it's three ninety, Ian. All right, sandbox you know, mode. We don't want to get you know we don't get raked over the coals for saying the wrong price. You know that wrong price is going to be. I thought I accurate. thought I, I thought um, I was being like. Okay. You, Exaggerated. You don't enough. want you don't you don't want uh, someone reviewing Tech and USA to come after you. Anyway, <sighs> so they show the black Onyx Atari version and then the wood grain front version. And in the picture, there's like different colored strips for each of them. I guess that's different. There's different like birch colored, and I guess like you can have a red, you can have a green, you can have a yellow, you, you can have, have a a wood, a darker wood, a lighter wood, <laughs> a cherry wood. Um, but then they they show it hooked up. I you can't make this up. They show it hooked up to an LCD monitor, Ian, and it's literally uh, the startup screen uh, for Windows 10. Yeah, that's the picture they've got there. Windows 10. With a mouse hooked up to it and a... a key Looks like the same actual, the same keyboard I might own somewhere uh, there. It's the sandbox mode. They were, Atari was eager to demo uh, the uh, VCS PC sandbox mode. Because they have nothing else. So the, the article talks about how there's uh, like 100 classic Atari games, uh, and then it talks about the Ant stream, uh, streaming stuff. Gaming stores we brought up before, which right, is a lot of European computer games. A lot games. of European computer games and stuff like that. Also, they are um, they're doing like a they talk, we talked about it once. They're doing like an Atari VCS specific build of that streaming sure. service. That'll probably have more Atari games on there. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, the article is like, yeah, 32 megabytes. That's enough to play some games in parentheses. Um, and then uh, they go right into the uh, sandbox mode. Uh, so that it's good for some light gaming uh that it was running Fortnite. um it's not going to be doing a whole lot uh the article basically says what i mean in a nicer way has said what we've always said the price on this is prohibitive it, it, it's it's an unattractive price point especially when sony and microsoft have new uh things uh, new offerings coming out this this fall um, as a game console as a game console and it's <clears throat> it's maybe a hobbyist computer maybe yeah, they're saying that for the price point for if you're looking at it as a computer it's not bad if as a computer right that's what they're saying so um primarily for enthusiasts it looks to me like the atari vcs is almost purely an enthusiast system this is for classic atari fans um and pc tinkerers Looking for a slick platform they can play with. That's such a str weird slice. Like, what? How small is that slice on the Venn diagram? Yeah. For that, uh, I like the design and flexibility, but it's hard to get past the price when Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft will all offer much more mature game ecosystems and in either more processing power or mobility for around the same price. It feels like the Atari VCS is gearing up to take on the same oddball niche as the Nvidia Shield TV, the PlayStation TV, or the Wii U. Yeah. This is. These uh, are not things you want your system to be compared to it's, you don't want your system that comes out sometime in the future to be compared to a wii u which failed years ago 
It seems almost destined to be the game system your weird tech head friend eagerly pre-orders and either swears by as a very specific platform for exactly the types of games they like or modifies it into a home theater PC slash Plex server, a server slash Bitcoin miner purely because they can. The The problem with that, and I think that's even too nice, is... Um you know the the whole it's going to be you know this platform for one type of game this isn't going to be like a niche console like how the dreamcast was great for fighting games and sure. the pc engine was great for shooters it's not going to do that because it's not around in a time where there's any developers that are going to make things exclusively no, for this absolutely for not. it to become that sort of system no. you know what i'm saying I, yeah. you can't uh, that's I, there's I, the, there's nothing you're gonna be able to play on the VCS that you can't play better elsewhere, or, right? Or the and same. There, and there's nothing, and there's absolutely nothing, and and this is different than you know. It, this doesn't even have like a special weird controller like the Amico does, where you know they can keep saying, "Just wait, it's gonna be best on the Amico." There's nothing. There's nothing about the Atari VCS where it's going to be the best for anything. Well, they said the controller is, you know, good good build quality, but it's a controller you can buy. In, I was going to say, form. but can't you buy these controllers and use them on PC? I'm pretty sure, sure. they were, yeah, because they were just selling the, the joystick controller, which looks kind of nice, honestly. The joystick looks fine. I, it, they put a little red top on the thumb. Oh, I meant, the, I meant the, the, oh, the classic one. It's neat looking, yeah, yeah. but that's I, like yeah, not the, for the, 60 bucks. These aren't proprietary, you know, game pads that they, they're, you know, thinking up from scratch or the joysticks. I mean, so at that point, what do you have? You have controllers that they said to their credits, decent build quality, um, or excellent excellent build quality on the, on the controllers. Um, yeah, I just don't understand though paying fifty dollars still for a a one button Atari twenty six hundred controller. I just don't want to get that. No, like who, who wants to do that? It's neat, but I don't like. It's uh, a neat looking controller, but I don't know that I would actually buy it. Like I, I, I want, I want to pick I, it up and use it. I have a glow in the dark LED one, Atari one, USB one sitting on my floor somewhere, literally over there, Ian. Yeah. That probably costs you 15, 10, 15 bucks online to buy, and I don't picture this being that much better. Um, okay, I mean it is what it is. It's not it's not as cheeky as as our uh, as Kieran McCarthy's articles. They probably locked him out of, from coming in the suite uh, from from looking at it. Uh, all right, well, as long as people get their uh, pre-orders fulfilled, then at that point, I don't care anymore. They they, 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 they bought into this. They're going to get this and not play it. You're going to get this. You're going to get the entire VCS you deserve. <laughs> you're going to get it well, because you deserve it? Well, I mean, like, if they want a little, I think we called it a little vanity piece, a little Art Deco thing, then you got it. When you're 45 to 57 years old and you grew up with the Atari, you know. Uh, Something to tap the old peen on. Exactly, exactly. Ian. <laughs> yep. It still has. It's still ribbed for your pleasure. Uh, there. All right. Well, well, we'll check back once this actually is released and in people's hands.